A simple user program is used to illustrate how a function block communicates with the various memory areas of the CPU via its parameter interface. The ladder diagram displayed here implements a simple multi-usable motor block. The motor is switched on and off via push button. The on status is additionally displayed via a blinking signal. The block can be used repeatedly for the same motor type. A certain motor is selected merely by assigning the interface. The program of the block, its function, remains unchanged. The inputs are addressable via the memory area of the process image and are connected with the input parameters of our block. A program-wide uniform enable signal for all motors is located in a global data block and is also connected to the input parameter. The central blinking signal is automatically assigned to a global memory bit. The controlled motor contactor and the blinking light are connected with the address in the process image of the outputs via the output parameters. The status of the storage element in the program must also be maintained after terminating the motor block. A static variable is therefore created in the declaration section of the FB. For an FB, all parameters, temporary and static variables, are stored in the instance data block. The operands of the user program used in the block are exclusively switched via the symbolic name of the block parameter and static variables of the declaration section of this block. The functionality is now completely encapsulated. Physically, the block exists only once in the memory of the CPU. However, it can be called up in the program many times using an instance DB.